which dog is whose. This incident was strictly the opposite of previous one. The same day, the two cockers were the same butt color, but belonging to, belonging to different owners came in for a grooming. When the job was done, the first owner arrived and took a dog. Everything satisfied him. He tipped the groomer and went home. Shortly thereafter, the second owner came and picked up this other cocker. She likes uh, the haircut. The next morning, she, we got a call. You know, I was in your office earlier this with my dog, Dina. Today, when I went to walk her, I realized it was not Dina at all. The logo left her leg urinated and I can discover she was he. How could that could be? I could only imagine with one explanation from this metamorphosis. The two cockers had been switched after a couple of hours of grooming. These dogs were happy to go out with anybody they didn't care who took their leashes and end up growing with a stranger to, to unfamiliar homes. We called the other cocker owner and asked him to bring Max was actually Dina back to us and assured the owners in re re retrieving their dogs. Sure, they had the same color and the same breed, but how could these owners confuse their own dog from somebody else? I still don't understand this, <laughs> especially since one of them was male and the other was female. There are millions of little details that makes your full again family member so special so di distinguished from anyone else it's like mixing up your wife with another woman just because they are both blondes and dressed similarly